If you're about to pick up Samurai for the first time, but find the action list and mechanics overwhelming, then this video is for you. In this Samurai Primer, we'll go over how to play Samurai at level 50 specifically and take a look ahead on some mechanics that are introduced later. We will not be covering roll actions, as these do not directly affect your attack rotation in a meaningful way. Let's start with your combos. You have three different combo sequences at level 50, with both similar and different uses. Whenever you finish a combo, or more precisely, correctly use the final step of your combo, you are given a Sen according to that combo. These Sen are unique, so doing the same combo twice in a row will not award you a Sen both times unless you spend the Sen in between combos. We will cover what Sens are a bit later. Let's focus on combos for now. Your first combo, Hakase, Jinpu, Gekko, gives your 10% damage bonus caused by Jinpu as well as the Sen, Gets. Your second combo, Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, gives you a 10% reduction in GCD times from Shifu as well as the Zen, Ka. Your third combo, Hakase, Yukikase, simply gives you the Zen, Sets. The rotation revolves around bringing both of your buffs up as quickly and efficiently as possible and then keep refreshing them throughout the fight. Because the Shifu buff makes your attack faster, it is always recommended to apply this one first. This means that your opener in a fight is very likely to look something like this. Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, Hakase, Jinpu. This then leads us to the Ei Jutsus, the Sen Spenders. The weapon skill Ei Jutsu is an action that changes into one of three actions depending on how many Zen you have. It does not care which Zen you have, just how many. If you have one Sen, it turns into Higanbana, a damage over time effect, or Dot, for short, that lasts for a long time. If you have two Sen, it turns into Tenka Goken, an area of effect attack, or AoE for short. If you have three Sen, it turns into Midare Setsugeka. While it does a lot of upfront damage, Higanbana does significantly more over its duration. Keep in mind that effects like Higanbana actually snapshots your stats at the time of application, so applying Higanbana with Jinpu active does 10% more damage than applying it without it. Since you cannot pick and choose how many Sen you want to use, you have to use Higanbana when you have one Sen if you want to use it. How this fits into the rotation is simple. If you have both buffs up and Higanbana is either not active or is about to run out, you use it when you can. If Higanbana is just fine, you can use Midare Setsu Geka for a big hit. Using Ei Jutsu does not cancel your current combo, and as such, this means your opener continues as follows. The five actions are seen before, Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, Hakase, Jinpu, and then we use Higanbana, followed by Gekko to finish the combo. At this point, the best option to continue your sequence with is Hakase, Yukikase, since both of your buffs are recently applied. Essentially, the rotation loop is to cycle through the three combos in some order to make sure both buffs are running and to never use a combo if you already have the Zen and won't be able to spend it in time. To break up this monotony a bit, we have the ability Maikyo Shisui. It enables you to use any of your five combo actions freely three times. More precisely, you can use Jinpu immediately without Hakase or more importantly, Gekko instantly without having to go through the two prior steps. Using these free actions does however break your existing combo, so try to only use this ability after a combo sequence. Best way to use Make Your Shisui is to only use the combo finishers with it, meaning Gekko, Kasha and Yukikase. In fact, if you want to be the most effective, only use it on Gekko and Kasha. This is because they do the most damage and save you the most time. For some examples of best practices with Make Your Shisui, you can use it while not having any Zen, followed by Gekko, Higanbana, Gekko, Kasha. Or, as another option, if you have sets, the Yukikase Sen, use Gekko, Kasha, Midare Setsu Gekka, Gekko or Kasha, depending on what buff has moderation left. If you have sets and another Sen, you can also start with the Sen you don't have, Midare Setsu Gekka, Gekko, Kasha, and go from there. Using one of the Make Your Shisui usages on Yukikase is also fine. Just keep in mind that the other options are better both in terms of damage potential and time saved. Next, let's talk about AoE rotation. You want to employ AoE rotations when there are three targets or more, and to do that, you have two combo sequences to use. The first one, Fuga Mangets. This sequence gives you Gets, the same Zen as the Gecko combo. It also extends the Gene Poop buff by 15 seconds, but never over 40 seconds. You can see this as a slightly stronger two-step version of the Gekko combo sequence for AoE. 
Your other combo sequence, Fuga O Ka, works the same way, instead granting Ka and extending the Shifu buff. Keep in mind that Mangets and Oka will not apply the buffs, so you need to already have those active. On three targets, the Yaijutsu Tenka Goken also beats both Higanbana and Midara Setsugeka handily. As such, your AoE rotation, assuming you already have applied Jinpu and Shifu, is as follows. Fuga, Mangets, Fuga, Oka, Tenka Goken. Repeat. Keep in mind that Fuga and Tenkagoken are frontal cone attacks, while Mangets and Oka are circle AoEs. Position yourself accordingly. When there are only two targets, the rotation turns into an odd combination of both the single target and AoE rotations. You start by getting your buffs up. Start with Shifu like you would with the single target rotation, then you want to use Higanbana on enemies that will survive for a long time. If there are none, which is often the case, you should instead use Tenkagoken whenever possible. Since you only need 2 Sen to do so, but your single target combos are better on 2 enemies than your AoE options, your combo rotation changes significantly. Start by checking which of your buffs has the shortest duration. Use that combo, then use the Hakase Yukikase combo. After that, you use Tenkagoken and repeat. An example of this is as follows. Hakase, Shifu, Kasha, Hakase, Yukikase, Tenkagoken, Hakase, Jinpu, Gekko, Hakase, Yukikase, Tenkagoken, repeat. Let's call this the 3-2 Tenkagoken combo. Let's summarize. For single target, you apply both buffs, Shifu and Jinpu, in that order, then you make sure Higanbana is active on your target, and then you simply cycle through gaining the sense, prioritizing the least recent one. Make your best effort to use Maikyo Shisui only for Gekko and Kasha if you can, which typically means using Yukikase just before Maikyo Shisui. If you reach 3 Sen, use Midara Setsugeka. For two targets, you apply both buffs, Shifu and Jinpu in that order, then, if either target will live a long time, apply Higanbana to the one that will live long, or both if it is both. Then, move on to the 3 2 Tenkagoken combo. For three targets, you apply both buffs, Shifu and Jinpu in that order, then you use your AoE combos and Tenkagoken. If you wish to use Make Your Shisui for the two target option, you can start one of your sequences with Yukikase and then Make Your Shisui after it. For instance, Hakase, Yukikase, Make Your Shisui, Gekko, Tenkagoken, Gekko, Kasha, Tenkagoken. For AoE, you can simply skip Fuga for a few GCDs. Finally, let's take a short look at your defensive options, namely Third Eye and NP. Third Eye is a very weak 10% damage reduction for 3 seconds. Later on you will get actions that interact with it such that if you use it correctly, you can get a good damage hit in or a decent heal on yourself for free. NP with its very weak 100 potency should only be used if you can't reach the target at all for a while and you're not breaking a combo that you will be able to continue. You may need to depend on NP for more than 5 seconds to make up for breaking a combo. Additionally, keep in mind your character runs about 6 Yalms per second by default, so without Sprint, in one GCD, you will run about 15 Yalms, the range of NP. This concludes the primer, but let's look ahead on some of the mechanics you will be introduced to in the first few levels. Hisat's Kaiten boosts the power of your next action by 50%. This should only be used for Yaijutsus. This also introduces your second job gauge, Kenkai. You produce Kenkai whenever you use a combo finisher in the correct positional. Gekko produces 5 Kenkai if you use it from behind your target. Kasha produces 5 Kenkai if you use it from the side of your target. Yukikase simply produces 10 Kenkai every time. Additionally, Mangets and Oka produce 5 Kenkai on each use. At first, you produce a very small amount of Kenkai, but you only need to use it on Hisat's Kaiten. Later on you will produce a lot more. In case you need to choose, keeping Kenkai to make sure you have enough for Higanbana is usually a good idea, given its potency. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts, you're welcome to leave a comment down below. Fun fact, despite Samurai being known for its incredible burst damage potential, its strongest attack by far is Hisar's Kaiten boosted Higanbana.